Montaigne at the front. Will put some killer in front and puts them a goal in front. Schneider gives it up. Montaigne starting a blaze of glory. Might finish in one. I think what makes Joey a worthy Hall of Fame inductor is that he he, he typifies resilience. Uh, he's got such a, a never give up attitude. He, he did it the hard way, Joey. You know, he came in with a lot of talent around him through the drafts. He was um, late in a star-studded draft, you know, so I think he sort of knew that he was going to have to do it the hard way and guys were going to get games in front of him. But in the background, he always believed that he could be a, a consistent senior footballer and just worked and worked until he got a chance. Bad bounce, Gary Desta behind, taken by Montagna! First goal in AFL footy. He became a student of the game and he still is now, obviously with what he does in his media roles and he was a bit of a footy tragic right from the start, you know, like he'd, he'd nearly watch every game, which drove me insane. He really bought in to what we were doing, he knew the game plan backwards, he was ultimate professional. May right with him, oh, Montagna, already had a side from a little closer and he nails it. Joey's career, you know, I'd say it is starting here and it, it ended here but there wasn't too many ups and downs. He consistently improved the whole time. So you knew exactly what you were going to get out of him. You knew he was going to give 100% effort. Um, you could just place him in a position and trust that he was going to do the right thing in the team uh, and by the team. So very reliable teammate to play with. Now to Montagna, the veteran runs to 50, measures it, goes for it and gets it. I think early on he, he had a major injury uh, a broken ankle early days and he really had to learn what his body was capable of. I think because he analysed the game so well, he would study other players, study game plan and he'd always be one step ahead of the game in what it took for preparation. So from a skinny little kid um, that always had pace but not much height, he was a bit challenged there but he uh, he learnt the game and learnt how to, you know, he always had an inner confidence as well that always stood him in good stead and um, I'm really proud of him. I think Joey, his immense love for the club is, um, you know, it's unwavering. And I think because, and we all sort of feel like this, and I'm sure Joey's, that's where the grounding comes from, that put so much into it, we bought into what we were doing and we are you know, striving for success. And, um, you know, you talk to a lot of footy players or team players and that's what the ultimate is. It's, it's having a group of players striving for the ultimate and going out there and, you know, and rain, hail or shine, blood, sweat and tears, however you want to call it, that group of people striving for something. And he was an integral part of that. He always put his all on the line. So I, th I think that's why he loves the place. Uh, he'll always be here and, you know, whatever, how many amount of years he played, 287 games, it's hard to walk away and, and not still have it a big part of your life.